Hi everyone, it's Grace from Esri. In this video, we will follow the Create Points from a Table tutorial in ArcGIS Pro. In this tutorial, you will create spatial data from a table of coordinates, add metadata, and create a feature interactively. You can follow the full written instructions for this tutorial in the ArcGIS Pro documentation. Let's get started. I've opened ArcGIS Pro and signed in to my ArcGIS Online account. We'll start by opening the Create Points from a Table project package. Make sure the portal is set to ArcGIS Online and search for Create Points from a Table. Open the one with the authoritative badge. The project opens to the Taranaki region of New Zealand's North Island. The boundary of Egmont National Park is drawn with an orange outline. Mount Taranaki is in the center of the park. On the Map tab, click Bookmarks and navigate to the Egmont National Park bookmark. A table of hut locations is stored in a CSV file as an attachment in the project package. On the Map tab, click Add Data, and under Project, click Folders. Navigate to the User Data folder and click the Egmont National Park Huts CSV file and click OK. The table appears in the Contents pane under Standalone Tables. Right-click the table and click Open to examine the attributes. There is information on the hut's name, the type of hut, the capacity, and the latitude-longitude coordinates in decimal degrees. Close the table, right-click the table in the Contents pane, point to Create Points from a Table, and click XY Table to Point. The input table is correctly set to the CSV file, and the X and Y fields are correctly set to Longitude and Latitude. Change the name of the Output Feature class to ENP Lodgings. The coordinate system parameter is set to GCS WGS 1984 by default, but let's check if this is the coordinate system that our data uses. In the Catalog pane, expand folders and browse to Create Points from a Table, Common Data, User Data, and right-click the Metadata text file. Show the file in File Explorer and double-click it. You can see here that the tool's default coordinate system is correct. Click OK to run the tool. The hut location points now appear on the map. In the Catalog pane, expand Databases and expand the Create Points from a Table geodatabase to see the new feature class. Next, let's add some metadata to the feature class to give it some background information. In the Catalog pane, right-click the new ENP Lodgings feature class and click Edit Metadata. In the Metadata view, change the title to Egmont National Park Lodgings, add tags, a summary, a description, and credits. The specific text can be found in the written tutorial. Under Credits, click New Use Limitation and add the licensing information. On the Metadata tab, click Save and close the Metadata view. Let's examine some of the features in the layer. On the Egmont map, zoom in on any of the point features and confirm that the point is located on a building on the imagery base map. In the Contents pane, right-click the ENP Lodgings layer and open its properties. On the General tab, change the layer name to Lodgings and click OK to see the updated name in the Contents pane. On the Map tab, click Bookmarks and go back to Egmont National Park. Next, we'll set a visibility range so the huts don't display at very small scales. Make sure the Lodgings layer is selected in the Contents pane and click the Feature Layer tab. In the Visibility Range group, click the Minimum Scale drop-down arrow and select 1 to 500,000. Now we'll choose a different symbol to represent the huts. In the Contents pane, click the symbol for Lodgings to open the Symbology pane. Make sure the Gallery tab is active and select the Square 1 symbol. Click the Properties tab and confirm that the Symbol tab is selected. Click the Color drop-down arrow and select Anemone Violet. Change the Outline Color to Gray 30% and the Outline Width to 1.5 points. Check the Enable Scale Base Sizing checkbox so that the symbol will change in size as you zoom in and out of the map. A slider appears under the Size property with two stops that represent the minimum and maximum map scales for which the symbol sizes can be set. The leftmost size stop has the scale set to 1 to 500,000, which is what we set the minimum visibility scale for this layer to earlier. The other size stop is set to 1 to 1,000. 
You can zoom in closer than 1 to 1000, but the symbol size won't increase past that point. Change the size value to 12 points to set the maximum size of the symbol. Click the first size dot to select it, and change the value to 2 points. This means that when the map scale is 1 to 500,000, the symbol will be 2 points in size and will gradually increase to a maximum size of 12 points as you zoom in. Click Apply to see your changes. Go to the Taranaki region bookmark and notice that the symbols do not display on the map due to the visibility range you set earlier. In the map scale box, click the drop down arrow and select 1 to 500,000 to view the symbols at their minimum size. If you zoom in, you can see that the symbols gradually increase in size. Return to the Egmont National Park bookmark. The lodgings layer includes huts and alpine clubs. In addition, there are two resort hotels inside the park that aren't included in the CSV file. We will add them to the feature class interactively. We'll start by finding the first hotel, Dawson Falls Mountain Lodge. On the Map tab, click Locate to open the Locate pane. Click the Options drop-down arrow and ensure that ArcGIS World Geocoding Service is included in the list and enabled. Type Dawson Falls Mountain in the search box. In the suggestion list, click the first option to zoom to the lodge and change the map scale to 1 to 1000 to zoom in closer. A marker is placed at the end of Manaya Road around 70 meters north of the lodge building. In the Locate pane, right-click the marker and click Add to Feature Class. Expand Lodgings, select the Lodgings Feature Template, and click OK. In the search box, click Delete to clear the address and remove the temporary marker from the map. On the Edit tab, make sure to save the edits. Let's move the feature to place it directly on the Lodge building. On the Edit tab, click Modify and select the Move tool. Hover over the selected feature. When the mouse pointer changes to a four-headed arrow, drag the feature to the building and release the mouse button. Click Finish on the Editing toolbar. Let's add some attributes for the Lodge. Click the Edit tab and click Attributes. In the lower half of the Attributes pane on the Attributes tab, click next to Name, type Dawson Falls Mountain Lodge, and press the Tab key. Enter Hotel as the type and 24 as the capacity. Click Apply. On the Edit tab, save your changes and clear the selection. Let's follow the same procedure to add another point for the Stratford Mountain House using latitude-longitude coordinates. In the Locate pane, enter these coordinates and press the Enter key. Follow the steps from before to add this feature to the Lodgings Feature class. In the search box, click Delete to remove the temporary marker so you can see the new feature, which is selected. In the Attributes pane, set the Name, Type, and Capacity values, and click Apply. On the Edit tab, click Save and clear the selection. Right-click the Lodgings layer and click Attribute Table to see the two new features that you added. Close the table and return to the Egmont National Park bookmark. We can also display this layer in a 3D scene. Right-click the Lodgings layer and click Copy. In the Catalog pane, expand Maps, right-click Egmont 3D, and click Open Local View to open the 3D scene. In the Contents pane, right-click the scene name and click Paste to add the layer to the 2D Layers category. You can pan and zoom around the scene to see how the symbols display in 3D. Drag the layer from the 2D Layers category to the 3D Layers category so you can apply 3D drawing properties to the symbols. Double-click the Lodgings layer to view its properties and click the Display tab. Under Display Symbols in Scene, confirm that the Screen Units option is selected, click the Improved Perspective checkbox, and click OK. The symbols now stand up on the surface and display at an appropriate size. Click the symbol for the layer to open the Symbology pane and click the Gallery tab if necessary. Select the 3D Standing Cube symbol. On the Properties tab, click the Symbol tab if necessary. You can change the color to whatever you would like, set the size to 9 points, and apply the changes. We can continue exploring the scene using navigation tools and the Egmont 3D bookmarks. For more detailed steps, follow the full written tutorial in the ArcGIS Pro documentation, linked in the description for this video.